Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of the Brewery View Crew. We are here yes. uh, at Mommy Bay's Mutt's Sports Bar, and they are celebrating the Mini Mash Week. Yeah, uh, Mutt's Mini Mash. This is Monday. They're doing a new beer release every day for the entire week. Today's release is a lemon peppercorn black saison. Glub, 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 glub. <sighs> and Clint had to say this about this beer earlier this week. Pilsner malt, there's some black malt. It's actually midnight wheat, so add, added a lot of color without adding any of the bitterness to it. There's a little bit of caramel malt in there just to add a little bit of body and sweetness. We're trying a new yeast strain. It attenuated it a lot more than what we were expecting, uh, so it, it's it's actually it's it's pretty refreshing. It's pretty dry. It finishes yeah. very crisp. Uh, organic lemon peel, add it late in the boil. It adds you a little citrusy zip in the aroma, a little bit in the end of the flavor. Um, the black peppercorns were just lightly cracked, and those were thrown in at the end of boil, whirlpool. You steep for 20 minutes and you heat exchange. I mean, none of it's overdone. I mean, you know, it's, with saisons, you kind of want things, though, you want any kind of flavor constituents outside of the malts to kind of be like a, you know, underlying factor. It's a really smooth beer. Um, it's 9.6% alcohol. Uh, like I said, that yeast attenuated a little more than a calculation, so... Yeah, that's a really interesting beer. That'll be on Monday. I've never had a black saison. In no. fact, I did some research and I could really only find like two, two, <laughs> two black saisons. Now that's the first page you Google, which is where everyone stops. Right. But still, <laughs> I didn't do like, extensive like research, but <laughs> it's clear that the uh, pool of black saisons is pretty shallow. Yeah. So. Uh, this should be unique, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm really excited to try it out. So why don't we go ahead and dive in, take a sniff, and right. uh, let's get going. I have to go back for that. So it's a little bit, there's like that clove, like the uh, the phenolic like uh, clove mm -hmm. flavor to it, or smell to it. But yeah. there's also that, that peppery Saison quality that you would expect, but it's very subtle. Yeah, I, I don't think it's a very big nose at all. No. Yeah, I get that peppery quality of a Saison, but you're right. It's very subdued. Mm -hmm. But to me, I pick up almost a like a candy-like sweetness on the okay. nose. I yeah. don't know what it is. It might be the lemon. I, it could be the peppercorn. I don't, I don't know. But there's something warm and sweet about it, almost like a candy. Yeah, there's almost like a... Like a bubble gum. Yeah, something. It's just like something very like sweet. Bubble gum, uh, lemongrass. Just, just, just a. I mean, there's a, a lot of complexity going on, but there's just not a lot of, of richness. You know what I'm saying? It's all very subdued flavors. All right. Well, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a taste of the lemon peppercorn black saison. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, I like that. I mean, we've said it a million times in our videos. Saisons and I are not best friends. But this one is actually, it, it's got enough flavor complexity to kind of cover up that Saison funkiness that I don't normally like. Um, but it's, you know, it's just really well done. You get the peppery qualities. The pepper is the biggest thing that I get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely get the pepper. It, there, it is a unique Saison. It's it's sweeter. Um, yeah. There's a sweetness to it. Yeah. And it's, it's a little bit fuller than your typical saison. There's yeah. a slickness that's kind of going uh, on the on the mouth feel mm. and it's just a little bit more sweet, a little bit more full. You get that peppery quality, but um, it's actually really pretty good. <laughs> Clint said that this attenuated a little bit bigger than they thought it would. This is what 9.6%. Yeah. You get that. Yeah. I yeah. mean, definitely at the end you get the alcoholic warmth, the burn that goes down. It feels really good, but I mean, it's a little bit bigger than a normal saison I'm used to. Yeah, I don't know too many saisons that are hitting almost the ten percent mark. Uh, those are supposed to be like you know your drinkable beers, you know, after a long right. day of work. And this right. one might knock you on your ass after a few, but that's fine. But very drinkable yeah. at nine point six percent. Nice, it's got some clove type yeah. flavors to clove, it. Clove, banana, the the saison, um, Belgian funky, Belgian, but without being too funky. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's a nice lingering aftertaste of pepper that is really nice and he said they just barely cracked the peppercorns so you're gonna get a lot of that and I do well okay so now that we've had a chance to enjoy the lemon peppercorn black saison Corey what are you gonna give it <laughs> I'm gonna go 85 on this one um, I think it's really well done it's a little bit strong obviously and I know he missed his mark on that one he didn't think it was gonna get that strong um, and it's a little thin, just like mouthfeel. I do think it's a very well done Saison. It, it's different, it's unique, it's got a lot of depth to it. Um, so an 85 is a very good, very good score. 
I'm gonna go just a shade higher. I'm gonna go 87. Okay. I, I think that the Cezanne characteristics that you want come through. Yeah. Um, really nice, solid, peppery, barnyard, farmhouse flavors. I agree with you. I'm taking off a little bit because it comes through just a little thin and watery, and there's a slickness to it. I don't know if it's diacetyl, which is also coming off as like a banana-y, clovey kind of thing. Okay. Um, but that being said, I think it's pretty, it's obviously unique being a black Saison. Yeah. Um, and I think it tastes really nice. I want a little bit more in the mouthfeel, but overall, I actually really enjoy this yeah, one. This is one I would order again, and I'm, like I said, not a Saison guy, but I would definitely order another one of these because it's very refreshing, even though it is 9%. <laughs> Okay, guys, so make sure you stay tuned all week long, all the way yes. through the 4th of July from the Mutt's Mini Mash series. Uh, they've got a whole great lineup of experimental brews and bringing back some good favorites from the uh, American Craft Beer Week. And if you actually come by today, July 1st, um, they're going to have the Mango Pale Wheat, which last time was one of our favorite beers of the whole American Craft Beer Week. So make sure you get down here and try that out because it's going to be amazing. He said he tweaked it a little bit, but it's still going to be probably awesome. Until next time, always remember... We're the Brewview Crew. We'll review... A brew for you. Cheers. Cheers. Hey guys, like that review? Click on the video for our previous episode. You want to check out your favorite beer by the style? Click on the logo in the top left corner. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to us on YouTube. Cheers. Cheers.